One of the most common things we'll see in cervical spine complaints is what we call anterior head posture. A lot of people who might be working in an office behind a computer or driving all day texting will have a posture where their head is actually forward. So I'll have Mickey demonstrate. So this would be an anterior head posture. Now what that does is increase a lot of tension in the cervical region, decrease the spinal mobility, and can lead to a number of conditions, you know, headaches, uh, upper cross syndrome, just a whole list of conditions. Now, what we found to be a very effective exercise to help increase spinal mobility and get the cervical facet joints moving is an exercise we call Make Like a Rooster. And we'll have uh, Mickey demonstrate here. So as you can see, she's moving through ranges of motion. How does that feel? That's good. Yeah. Now a great way to reinforce this movement and help increase that motion and increase the mobility in the facet joints. And actually a really cool thing as well is that by doing this, we're going to assist Mickey with this motion by getting in on the structures. You can actually treat all the way down to the cervical thoracic uh, junction, which is an area that's often neglected but also not treated effectively. So we're going to demonstrate here. Now uh, we're going to have Mickey start the motion. So I'm going to start a little bit lower, right in here, yeah, so bring it back, there we go. And I'm going with the motion there, can you feel that? That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and working up either side of the spine, yeah, you can really feel actually a bit of translation in the, uh, the joints here as they move forward and back. And yet right here at the end range, so now I'm at the CT junction, the cervical thoracic junction, you can really feel that opening up. Doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, can you feel that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now as we move up more into the cervical spine, there we go. I'm going to actually start to create a motion where I'm moving forward, but also scooping up slightly. And you're going to see that here. There we go. Can you feel that? Yeah. So I'm just kind of trying to follow the spine. I'm not resisting it. I'm moving with Mickey. And you can really feel it opening up, especially in the upper cervicals here. Get a little more extension. Doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, you can feel a bit of tension right in there. Yeah, right there. Good. And one more. Good. And relax. Now, just kind of move through the motion and see how it feels. Yeah, it seems a lot yeah, looser than before. Yeah. Yeah, just a great way to open up the cervical spine.